Hi there citizens, it's your friendly neighborhood Polish player. Today I will be reviewing Gamefly, a new streaming service for Amazon Fire TV or Samsung TVs. If you're interested only in the conclusion and uh, final verdict about Gamefly, don't leave, just click here. Streaming services like Gamefly is cloud gaming. I was talking about cloud gaming on my YouTube channel based on own life on Android TV system uh, in Philips's TVs. Unfortunately, OnLife is no longer with us, but Gamefly is trying to take his place using Amazon Fire TVs systems or Samsung HD TVs. I was testing Gamefly on Samsung JS8500 with Tizen TV operation system. The application works nice, it launches fast and is uh, quite uh, intuitive. There are 42 games in the library. You can buy them with uh, buying free packs. Every pack costs about nine bucks. So for monthly subscription for all the games in Gamefly, you would pay around 30 bucks a month. You can test every game in Gamefly library for 10 minutes. It's enough time to find out if it works fine and if you like it. Then you can buy it through Samsung Checkout on TV system, a new system in Samsung Smart TVs. It's very comfortable. You can pay with PayPal or credit card. Unfortunately, in Samsung Checkout on TV system, the gamepad, which you use to operate through Gamefly, does not work. And from the other hand, your remote control does not work in games, even though some of them would use it perfectly. For example, Machion would be great with remote control. Unfortunately, it does not work. There are some minor bugs in Gamefly app for Samsung Smart TVs, but nothing very, uh, very important, nothing that makes it a bad, uh, a bad experience. But the main question is, can you play with it and if it's fun? Gamefly promises 720p resolution with 30 frames per second and delivers. Uh, it doesn't look as good as on your PC. It's still streaming video and audio through your internet connection, but it looks uh, good enough for a casual gamer. The biggest question is lag. Is it high enough to make it impossible to play or is it manageable? In Poland, I was connected through Ireland or Netherlands servers with ping around 50. It's not great, but you can still play. Unfortunately, at least in Poland, sometimes video and sound quality was unacceptable. Gamefly says that for optimal experience, you need about 10 megabits internet connection. I've tested it on the internet connection that is that has 85 megabits download and around 5 megabits upload. The upload is not very high, but it should be enough. And sometimes it was. For example, playing Fear was excellent on the Gamefly. It had no lag whatsoever. It was uh, fast, smooth and very, very nice. I wanted to play more than just 10 test minutes. Unfortunately, on the other hand, I had some serious sound issues with Marvel Super Heroes, one of the best LEGO games there is. You should play it. There were some horrible sound problems. The video looked good, but the sound was very, very poor. On the other hand, playing LEGO Hobbit game, the sound was uh, great, but the video was absolutely unacceptable and I couldn't play it at all. But I have to say that when Gamefly worked, it was great. I was really surprised about that. Uh, these nine bucks uh, for one of three game packs and some video and audio issues are a very big problem. But if the game library would grow and if uh, the 
video and audio connections wouldn't be so frequent, then the Gamefly could be a great alternative for your game console or PC. Your Amazon Fire hardware or your Samsung HD TV could be your next game console. Like I said, when Gamefly worked like it's supposed to work, it was really great. I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, at least in Poland, it didn't work like that all the time. So that's Gamefly. If you like my video, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. It was your friendly neighborhood Polish player. Bye citizens!